Hey, what up guys? Chuck here at Happy Face Hold'em. Welcome back. Hey, before we get into today's video, um, it's giveaway time. All right. Yeah, so I asked you guys to help out my buddy Eric over at Fish Poker up, to help him reach a thousand subs and you guys came through for us. So now it's time for Eric to give away some dice. I don't know, maybe these crappy t-shirts, uh, but hey, Brad's wearing it. So here's what you guys gotta do. If you're subbed to my channel, you're subbed to Fish's channel, go down to the comments, write a comment that says, Brad Owen, give Fish a shout out. That's all you gotta do. You'll be entered into the drawing for the giveaway. And then Eric over at Fish Poker will do the drawing and send out some crappy merchandise. You got these t-shirts and you got stickers. They probably won't even stick, but that's all right. So anyways, on to today's vlog here. Hey guys, welcome to Happy Face Hold'em. These are my fancy Charlie cards. And these right here, I like to call these my Charlie chips. Let's get more of these at the end of every session than we started with. Why Happy Face Hold'em? Well, we have a happy face mode right into the side of the hill in the town I live in. This is vlog number 41, stacking after getting stacked. What up guys? May 4th, Tuesday. Hey, check out Red Poker. Heads up poker tournament style. Blinds go up every minute. Six seconds to make your decision. And it's free to play. Download it for iOS or Android. I have a link in the description below. So, I lit a grand on fire last week. What a bad, bad, bad call. Man, I didn't sleep for two nights. Anyways, uh, so we're back at it. A loss is a loss. That loss was fully on me. I take 100% full responsibility for the call, and I won't do it again. Uh, back to playing some good poker tonight. On our way to Commerce Casino in Los Angeles to play some 5-5 No Limit Hold'em 500 cap. Please help my channel out. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. Half of you are not subscribed. YouTube tells me this, so please subscribe. Helps the channel out a ton. Press the thumbs up button and like this video, and don't forget to comment down below because I love interacting with all of you. I'm loving the channel. I'm loving the poker. You know what I'm not loving? LA traffic. All right, guys, wasting no time at Commerce Casino. We buy into the 5-5. Five, five. $500 cap we buy in for the maximum and we sit down and under the gun and look at ace king suited of the club variety this time uh, action pack game uh, player about three seats to my left is a gal who likes to light money on fire she must hate it and uh, you'll see why in a hand or two from now so anyways we go three ways of the flop with 75 in the pot which comes down brilliantly eight six nine all clubs well i'd like to say i have the nuts here i guess i don't you guys will give me a hard time if I say I do, but I have the effect of nuts. Um, I do elect to put in a bet of $35, and I think it was just a little too rich because everybody folds. Looking back, I probably should have checked, but I had a situation like this, and a guy had a straight flush when I had the nut flush, so maybe I'm a little scared of that. All right, guys, this is a sick hand. We're in the cutoff. We look down at 6-5 suited, another club variety, the player in the... Hijack had raised it to 35, and three of us called, so four ways to a flop with 140 in the pot. Looking pretty good for us. Six, ace, five, rainbow. Yeah, baby, when you're going to play six, five, this is the kind of flop you want. You know, these kinds of hands flop very well multi-way. When you hear that term, that a hand flops well multi-way, these are the kinds of hands we're talking about. Suited connectors, suited one gappers. Um, so the cutoff continues for $60 and there's no time like the present to raise it up. So we make it 150 to go and everybody's going to bail except for the original razor here. So young gentlemen um, playing very few hands up to this point. We're playing about 500 effective stacks and the only hands I had seen him show down were big cards, ace, king, ace, queen, king, queen type hands. So pretty nitty player for being a young guy um, not all that aggressive so I definitely put him on a big ace which is why I elected to put the raise in now um, want to realize my equity if we should get it all in at this point um, so I think that's the only move here um, obviously folding is not an option with two pair and calling 
You know, I think there's just too many gross cards that could come out, um, you know, give him two pair if he does have an ace, king, ace, queen to make a call. So, I, you know, I think uh, going all in or making the raise here is is the right move. So he does elect to shove the rest of his stack in after tanking for quite some time. And the turn card looks great. Eight of diamonds. And what a gross river. Giving him a bigger two pair. He did flip over ace, king. We slide all our... Charlie chips his direction. We only have 300 in our pocket, so we buy in for that. We're back in it. We look down at pocket queens on the button. We like this position. We raise it up to 20 after getting four limps to us, and we're going to have two callers going three ways to a pot with $60 in. Pot comes down 10 for king. Of course there's a king. We don't like to see that when we have pocket queens. So when the action gets around to us, we are glad and happy to check behind. The turn card comes down to seven of diamonds, really doesn't change anything, brings in a diamond draw, uh, but not too worried about that, although the action did check check on the flop, so any two cards are possible here. Both these players did call a pre-flop raise, um, so definitely somebody could have a king. So the small blind elects to lead out on this one, and I decide to make the call. River comes down, another king. I check it behind. He shows ace 10. Not sure what he was betting with. Maybe he thought ace high was good, and we take that one down. All right, in this one, we're in the big blind. Limped around to us by a few players, and we look down at king, queen, suited. We like suited Broadway cards. Great hand to open the action up. Again, we're going to go three ways to a flop, this time with 100 in because we had those limpers in there. Sorry, I made it 30 to go, and we had those limpers in there. Flop comes down, deuce, six. Queen, so we flop top pair on a rainbow board. We like this, so with a hundred dollars in, we elect to bet 45 Charlie chips out there. We get not just one caller, but we also get our gal a couple seats down who absolutely hates money to make the call as well. So with 235 in, we're gonna see a clean turn with the five of spades. It does bring in the backdoor spade draw, something that I want to be aware of, but I think I want to target any. Other queen holding, queen jack, queen 10, any worse queen. Uh, definitely, I think jacks could have floated the flop as well. So I elect to bet 115 into this pot, really going after the gal because she's got about 200 in her stack left behind. The gentleman to my left has a hefty stack of about 700. So um, I'm really targeting her. After quite some time thinking, the player to my left elects to lay it down and the gal well she decides that she's going to put all her chips in the middle we flick in a single white chip which is a hundred dollars in the los angeles market hoping that we get a clean run out nine of spades did she float us with a flush draw no she called us light all in with second pair go figure on that one all right we're going to scoop this pot Happy to do so, and we're stacking back up, turning some profit from the $300 that we rebought in with. All right, in this one, we're sitting in the cutoff, and we look down at 6-5 suited, kind of like the second hand of the vlog that we uh, started with. Well, it's been limped around, so we decided to open the action. We're going to get calls from the button, the small blind, and the hijack. So we're going to go four ways with $80 in to see a flop. Can we redeem ourselves from earlier in the night? Flop comes four king deuce with two hearts. Action is going to check all the way through. Yeah, not a whole lot here. Backdoor flush and a gutter ball. Um, backdoor baby flush and a gutter ball. So um, yeah, not a whole lot to do but check here. So the button decides to bet $30 and he's got about 350 left in his stack. So, you know, I guess I have odds to call implied odds here um, because I can get about 10 to one on this call here if I do make the call and happen to miraculously hit my gutter or my flush. Um, so, But I intended to fold until the, the hijack call. Then I figured, all right, there's enough money in the pot. It's definitely worth a call. Well, the turn couldn't be a better card for us, the three of clubs. Not only did we drill our straight turn to flush, but we also turned a straight flush. So the player to my right goes all in for 100. The player to my left has 340 behind. I did a recount. And now I have to decide, do I just want to flat here and keep the button in or target a flush draw or another club draw and charge them for drawing? 
So I do elect to go all in here. I think it was the right move. If he's got a bigger club draw, then I can hopefully price him out to draw. Um, but if he's, or if he's on a hard draw, or at least charge him for the draw and just kind of realize my equity now. Well, to my surprise, the button does decide to call and we go to a massive thousand dollar pot. We fade every out. The river is a total brick and we're going to scoop this bad boy up. The small blind did murmur that he had a flush draw as he threw his cards hastily in the muck. We scoop this bad boy. We play for another three or four orbits. We decide it's time to chip up, rack up, scoop it up, and head on home. Yeah, that picture of the ceiling, I passed out in my chair from all the excitement. Just kidding. Phone fell over. Vlogger troubles. What up, guys? End of session update. I'm going to do my best to tell you this one walking to the car. It's a little dark. So uh, into the game for 500 felted in 30 minutes. Only had another 300 in my pocket. Only brought 800 tonight. Usually I bring two buy-ins. Anyways, bought in for 300. So in for 800. Played for two hours and 53 minutes. Cashed out four. 1623. Uh, that's plus 8.23 in 2 hours and 53 minutes. Uh, 2, 2.45 an hour, I think it is. I'll put the numbers up here for you all, as always. But 57 big blinds an hour, so good result. Got back nearly everything I left here last week. If you guys made it this far, like this video, subscribe, leave a comment below, and thank you very much for being here. I appreciate it. Until next time, guys.